Hi everyone, welcome to the Rec Center content while we're off of school. My name is Leah, my pronouns are she, hers, and hers. I've been a personal trainer at the Rec Center for about two years now. And today we're gonna to go over some foundations of getting your handstand at home. Obviously, when you're working out at home and you don't have any personnel to make sure you're being safe, so please just make sure you're staying within your comfort zone. Don't push yourself if something hurts or makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, and just have a good time. So let's get started. Um, a great foundation to a handstand is strong wrists. So we're going to do just a few exercises that you can even do while you're sitting, watching lecture, or something like that. One of my favorites is just going from a pinch to a star, nice and slow. After you do about 10 of these, it starts to, you start to feel it. Um, so do as many as those as feels appropriate to warm up your hand. Also, you can go from a star to a fist is another good one. And another good warm up that I like to do, even just like absentmindedly sitting, is doing different finger touches to the thumb. Once you go ahead and do a couple of those to warm up and you feel a little bit warmer, let's go ahead and stretch our wrists out. So go ahead and make two fists and just make circles, one direction. Kind of notice differences in your wrist. Does one feel more comfortable than the other doing this? And then go ahead and switch directions. And then we're gonna take another stretch. This time we're gonna come up onto our knees and we're just gonna put our hands out in front of us, fingers facing forward. And we're going to lean forward so that our wrist joint slowly slides over our hands. Don't make it too extreme. You're going to feel tension along your forearm. So just feel it out wherever is a good stretch for you. Hold it and then come back. And then we're going to go ahead and switch, flip the hands under and lean back. So the crease between your hand and your arm is going to go forwards. This is another big stretch. So take it as slow as you want. Feel it out. Don't push too hard. So once we have our wrists warmed up, we are going to start with some core activation. Um, a really good component of a strong handstand is your core. So we are going to start with an exercise called a hollow body, and we can scale this up and down in many ways. So we're gonna start with our lower back on the ground. I grabbed a yoga mat, just any soft surface will do. We're gonna lie down, put our hands down on the floor, and lengthen our feet, and then we are going to activate our core and roll our pelvis back so our lower back is pressed into the floor and then we're just going to hover our feet. You can hover one or two, or you can have them bent and hover, whatever's the most comfortable. If you wanna hover them a little bit higher, that's a good way to scale this down and then come on down as you become more comfortable with it. A full hollow body, you can be with your hands over your head and you're basically making like a soft banana shape or a half circle. So once you reach a full hollow body, you will be able to squeeze like this. Obviously, that doesn't work for everyone. Personally, I do not really enjoy full hollow bodies. I have some lower back issues. So take whatever regression feels best. I usually start with my lower back glued to the floor and my feet up high. And then with a soft bend in the knees, I slowly bring my legs down until I've found my comfort level and my core feels very active. So through here, I just want you to breathe and experience this abdominal contraction and get used to it. So that's a good way to warm up your core for this exercise. And then another big component of a handstand is getting comfortable with being upside down. So a good way that I like to gently ease into this feeling is to utilize a couch. Preferably not with a dog, but sometimes you need to work with what you have. So um, go ahead, move. Boy. So we're going to go put our hands on the mat and look behind us and we're going to gently place one foot and then the other foot up on the couch behind us and then we're going to straighten our legs and put as much weight as you want into your wrists. From here you can feel the feeling of being upside down. Go ahead and squeeze your core and try and pull your chest towards your feet. So from the opposite side, it's gonna look something like this. Hands come down, one foot up, next foot up, squeezing that core and trying to get your shoulders over your elbows, which are over your wrists. And then when you wanna come down, just bend your knees, bring one leg down at a time. All right, so now that we've gone through all three of the foundations that I wanted to touch upon, just a good thing to think about before you 
Loom into your full handstand is how you are breathing when you are upside down during that modified handstand on the couch. Um, it's very, very easy to hold your breath when you're upside down, which is not good. Um, so definitely practice being thoughtful and mindful about your breathing while you are upside down so you can have a more successful full handstand. And if you feel as though you are ready to progress to a full handstand, I will find a wall or a roommate to help you achieve this. Uh, a good way to get started is just by starting with a small lunge forward. So you're on your tippy toes here. You're going to bring your hands up above your head, hinge at the hips, bring your hands down until they touch the floor, and then kick up with this back left leg and just make a small jump. Smaller to bigger is the way to go. You can always add more you can't take away. So that's especially why I would advise using a roommate or a wall to help you get up to the top, just to make sure you are being safe. And if you do eventually have your legs meet at the top, just be mindful that you are pressing the earth away and that your core is engaged and that your legs are together. And once you are up there, do not panic. It is very easy to come down by just bringing one leg down at a time. Keep your upper body strong. We want to protect our heads. Uh, I hope this was helpful to getting your handstand at home and I hope everyone has a great day.